Now, if you, you can probably already tell what it is. This title uses an autosave feature. We're going to skip through that. Um, now, you can probably already tell what this is fairly quickly. Now, I'd like to give a little bit of explanation on why specifically I'm doing this game. I didn't have a keyboard there for a while, and, you know, there, there, was, there was a stretch of time where I wasn't uploading videos quite as much as I was, and that made me a little sad, and I couldn't really do as much as I wanted to. It was about three, four days, didn't have a keyboard, and a friend of mine, let's just call him Freddy, he bought me a keyboard, and because I know he really, really likes the Game of Thrones movies, I figured that he would greatly enjoy me playing a video game based on what he enjoys. So, I am doing this to show... Thank you, Freddy. Thank you for buying me a keyboard, and I will be playing Game of Thrones in your honor. So, we're going to get right on to this. We're going to start up a game. Uh, we, we, we'll do it on normal difficulty. There's no, there's no reason to go any harder, harder than that. Now, I don't know anything about these movies or books or whatever they, the fuck these are based on. I just know that he talks about it a lot, and, well, I, I figured he'd enjoy it. And when you play the Game of Thrones, you win or you die. Well, that's, uh... Year 298. Westeros. Realm of the Seven Kingdoms. The world has changed. The ancient Targaryen line of kings had its fire extinguished after reigning over the Seven Kingdoms for many centuries. Robert Baratheon's rebellion unified most of the realm's great houses under a single banner, thus bringing about the fall of the Targaryens. Targaryens? God damn Just Targaryens. 15 years ago, he acceded to the Iron Throne, becoming Lord of the Seven Kingdoms. That sounds really uncomfortable. Far from the Game of Thrones and political intrigues, far to the north, in the land where winter seems never to die, a border cuts the continent in two. The Wall. The Wall! I like it. The Night's Watch has been its guardian for thousands of years. But I thought it was only like 298. All costs from wildling attacks and other menaces from beyond. The danger is constant, the cold is bitter, and death is sweet for those who fall. It's the At times, even the bravest warriors give up and attempt to escape this white purgatory. But it's only the year 298, how can they be to have protecting it for thousands of years? Like, what was the big, you know, event? Like, I guess uh, Game of Thrones has its own Jesus and it's BC and, uh, you know, whatever, right? So anyway, play somewhere at the wall. It's a Mobari, I think, or a dog, whatever. Fucking run, guy. Run! He's gonna get... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Is he gonna get him? No, I guess not. Or is that us? Who are we? Who the fuck are we gonna play as? I don't even know. Fucking cross. I knew that you were the one he'd send, Mars. Damned moment. It had to be you. It's over, old brother. All your attempts are in vain. You know I'll end up taking you to Castle Black, dead or alive. Shouldn't it be Why Black not let Castle? Me get away for old times' sake. After all, we're brothers. You betrayed us by attempting to escape, my friend. My duty is to bring you back. You know there's only one way to leave the Night's Watch. I'm sorry, Moise, you leave me no choice. Oh, shit. Oh, shit! We have a crossbow and a dog jumping at us. Chapter 1, Moore's present day. Oh, God, I'm 15 years. It's been 15 years since... Oh, I'm not even gonna... Should I... Uh, since you abandoned your family and your land, you are chosen, blah, 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 the same choice as all other criminals and traitors in death or a life of exile in the Night's Watch. But wouldn't death have been a far sweeter fate on this blackest night? Blah, 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 the headquarters of the Night's Watch, Black Castle. Okay, so that is more Westford, a ranger, and yeah, okay, I guess that is going to be us. 
Okay, I can do that. Um, the fuck? Mango. Wait, 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 wait. What I get to choose how I find? Cool, defense stand. I will go with this one. He's got two weapons. And we'll just pump up his strength. Because, uh, that, well, why not, right? Uh, actually. Skill learning. Bargain chance, energy recovery. Ah, uh, fuck that. I'm going with strength. There's no reason to put anything else in anything that I can think of. Let's just hit. Um. Tough nuts. Hmm. Oh, I think I'll go with. Oh no! I didn't want to do that. That's two. Oh wait, two weapons. One. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Um, rage. For each time you interrupt an opponent's ability. Hell yeah, I'm going with that. Sounds nice. Critical hit. I can do that all day long. Axes. Fuck yeah, I'm going with axes. Like dual axes. Hell yeah. I, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but you know. And balance found. The number of strength and weaknesses must be equal. You can choose up to three. Huh. Brute. Oh my god, why is there so much shit? Okay, ambidextrous. You are particularly with a weapon in each hand. Hell yeah, I'll go with that one. What about the, uh, the born leader? Oh, I can't get both born leader and bad leader. Or... Wow, that sounds terrible. Wow, all these are terrible. Psychopath makes you unstable. Okay, I can... I can dig it, I guess. I don't know. Gifted. Wow. Um, okay, I'll go with gifted. That sounds neat. There's a lot of shit in this. What the fuck? Okay, so... Excessive strength. Leech. So I'll go with that. Now, pyrophobia. A crippling fear of flame causes fire attacks to burn you even harder. Wow. Oh my god, I'm gonna choose six of these. Paranoid. Okay, I'll go with that. I'll have a collapsed lung. I have uh, I have allergies, and um, each time you see a flask, there's a 15% chance of failing. What? Why flasks? Asthmatic. I'll just be a bad leader. Actually, I don't. Oh, let's remove that. Oh shit! So I still have to choose one. Okay, so I have an excess of weakness. So yeah, I can just go with the allergy thing. There we go. Character creation is finished. Remaining points can be used later in your character page. Confirm the hell yeah. I guess I, uh, I guess I'm done with that. Got allergies and asthma and gout, and I'm a bad leader and I'm hemophobic and paranoid and all this weird shit. I hope I'm not afraid of crows too. Castle Black. Black Castle. Nothing's changed since the day we arrived. Fifteen years. Remember, Morris? No. You were so strong back then. At the time, I really believed in the mission of the Night's Watch, you know. You've changed, old brother. I never thought you would betray us. Aye, well, you've always had a knack for choosing friends. One night here, and you'd already bashed in three of our brother's skulls. I wasn't the only one there, if I remember rightly. <laughs> That's me. I never think of the consequences. All I do is give. Look at this, boys. Mors finally brought back that worm, Gorol. Well done. Some men bet against you, but I wagered you'd make it. It must have been quite a hunt. Gorol knows how to cover his tracks and isn't half bad with the sword. <laughs> for 15 years, but I still had just a shred of hope that I'd give you and your damn dog the slip. Look, that's a I fucking weird-looking dog. A little shit like our friend here. Hold your tongue, deserter. That's not what your mother said last night. Oh! I'll teach you about respect, dog. Enough. I forbid you to touch him. You would not have had the slightest chance against him, blade in hand. You just had that shit-eating grin. Tell me, where is Mormont? 
The Lord Commander is in front of the Commander's Keep with the new recruits. They've just sworn their oaths. So they are finally sworn brothers of the Night's Watch. <coughs> Fools. Now you can teach them a little lesson. Right, Mors? You're gonna behead you right in front of them, I guess. I feel like I'm a bad guy because I got the cloak and you can't see my face and... Uh, I, I don't know. And I have to remember talk like I've got, you know, I'm from, I have got guilt. Maybe the guilt reflected my draw. Maybe, 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 maybe. I don't know. You brought this traitor back. I knew I could count on you. It is my eyes. I did what I had to, Lord Commander. Your <laughs> modesty does you honor. Recruits, listen to me. No. Moors here is our best tracker. Now that you are sworn brothers of the Night's Watch, he will mold you into rangers. He has just returned from a very delicate mission, tracking down Gorals, who took the cowardly route and deserted. In the name of the Night's Watch, I thank you, Moors. I know how hard it must have been for you to hunt down a friend. The honor of the Night Watch above all. I swore an oath to the Watch. If we go back on our word and our mission, then we are nothing. If only all my men spoke like that. Speaking of new brothers, I see only four of them. Where is the fifth? Someone attacked him last night. He's been looked after by Maester Eamon as we speak. One of our brothers has broken his vows in the most sordid manner. That traitor then beat the poor boy and left him in the snow more dead than alive. Damn it. I swear I'll skin the culprit. I like alive. being evil. I like this Alas, guy. We do not know if the boy will recognize his assailant or even if he is to survive. Too bad. The brat certainly was a pretty boy. Soft as a virgin. What a pity I never managed to corner him. Wow, you... I thought I was... Like, I feel like I'm evil because I've got the hood and, you know, the, you know, and all that, but my god, this guy sounds like he's... Ugh. Yeah, what a pity I... Ugh. Uh... Um... I don't know what to say. There's nothing really good to say. Never... True yeah. to your reputation, Gorold, eh? You know me. Always trying to get a laugh. Silence, traitor. Each time I pass judgment on a deserter, I feel the bitterness of failure. It is my duty, as Lord Commander of the Night's Watch, to make true brothers of you. This morning, you were strangers. Now, you have all sworn to honor our oath. Some come to us as knights, carrying out their duties, and some as criminals, forced to choose between the noose and the wall. The wall! Once you take the black, your past is dead. You must Once you go black, you never go back. Abilities. Forget your family and friends. They cease to exist. Such is the strength of our oath. No wife, no children, no lands. All that matters is defending the wall and the realm. We are your only home. We are your duty. We are your new family, the only one that matters now. More than 8,000 years ago, Humanity itself was nearly lost during the long night. Our Ooh. predecessors then built the wall that you see behind us. This massive wall of ice. They built a wall of ice. Feet high and divides the continent in half. It protects the realm of the seven kingdoms from threats beyond the wall. Defending it is our purpose. How do you build a wall of ice? Our duty. That sounds kind of derpy, actually. Watch has unfailingly carried out this mission for centuries. Generation after generation. Wildlings, cold, wind, and dishonor. 
Those are your enemies. Even in the midst of a summer such as this one. Mm -hmm. We have all taken our vows before the gods. Whichever gods they are. If you betray your brothers, if you break this sacred oath. Throughout the seven kingdoms of Westeros, you will be met with one punishment. Death. Um, his face doesn't ever move. Then his death will be a lesson to them. Watch closely, you young whelps. May this serve as a lesson to you. Prepare yourself for your final journey, Geralt, my friend. That's all I expect. You do I get to kill him? Goral 